Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Kash and Rick. This is Venkat here. Like we are going to talk about a great video that is a full stack .NET development. Before proceeding further, I would like to like uh, congratulate all the people who got placed via our company. So heartiest wishes, people. Like uh, I wish uh, all the very best. And this is for the companies and recruiters. If you are able to see this particular video, please share your job descriptioners. We'll give the best candidates all over India and all over the world. So we can give the trained candidates to you. Let's move on to the technology. So what is a website? Website is nothing but a combination of a client and a server basis. You got a client, you got a Gmail, and you got a Gmail server. Like Gmail, like the client will be asking the Gmail username and password, and you have to return the inbox to you. So this is how the technology works. You got the client. The client is asking some requests via the internet. It moves on the server. The server will process it, and it will respond. The response will be like the collection of emails. It's coming back to you as an inbox. This is how your Gmail works. And here is the client and server methodology works. There are specific technology we need to create it to create this kind of client and a server. So why are like a, the first one is like the HTML. I want to design a website. We need a structure for that. For that, we need HTML. So HTML, the abbreviation is Hypertext Markup Language. It created in 1991. You are able to see a web page. It can be a button and everything. So I've written. Yeah, I have done a great video on HTML in English in my channel. Just check it out. Here is the sample code of HTML works. That's really good. Now I need the website is ready, sir. But I need the coloring part. So I need designs. So for making the designing part, we need the great concept called a CSS in 1996 cast cut style sheet. The button is colored. You are able to see a colorful coding is designed. This is this is a sample code for CSS. And I'm I, I have done a great video on CSS in my channel. Just go and watch it out. Okay. So now I got sir. I got the structure. I got the design. Now I need some animation, sir. Some movement and validation that's why you need the next level of technology that is a javascript in 1996 that's called as client side validation coding client side validation coding in the sense you are able to see a lot of animations and here is a sample code this is a way of coding for javascript i've done a great video on javascript in english in my channel go and check it out Okay, now we got your HTML structure, which is the uh, the appearance is awesome, and you got the actions and everything. Perfect, everything is awesome. Is it okay for you? Yes, but I need some advanced concepts and a lot of functionalities. Like I want to send an email, storing the data, doing some manipulations with the functionalities. So we need a lot of functionalities. We need, we need a great technology, and that's that's called as PHP. So hypertext preprocessor came in 1996 to 1997. So you are able to see this is a client side coding, and over here, why are the internet the request is moving to the server the server is doing some process for you and i've done a great video on php in english just go and check my channel apart from that, this is a sample piece of code you are able to see the php code embedded into the html that's really awesome now you got the website ready but i want to store the data sir so i got a lot of data enormous data i need to store it for reusing it so we need a database where i'm able to store all the data i'm able to retrieve anywhere that's where your database is nothing but a collection of useful data now i got a great technology that is your mysql to store the database the data so i got my username and password coming here via the internet go to php and over here this store getting stored over here that is how your mysql works and mysql the abbreviation is apache mysql database i've done a great video on mysql just go and check it out in my channel apart from this is the language which they are using is sql structured query language coding the database to do some processing or do to do some manipulations on the data that is how it works now the website is ready but i am looking for much more user in friendly interface sir. so we need some more better interface that's where you got a great technology that is called asp which arises along with the php so now i'm going to talk about the asp active server page it came in 1996 to 97 so it is the microsoft technology so microsoft found this technology active server page so this is equivalent to php that's really awesome now the major thing is like uh, i got multiple languages which i need to convert into a common base so i you can write any kind of code which can execute in a windows operating system so the arrays of dotnet framework comes so dotnet framework is nothing but it is a common platform where anyone can write the program i can execute it if you want to learn more on dotnet or if you want to look looking for any kind of guidance you can contact me via our company our company Kashi we are providing internships and courses via online and offline. You can contact me at any time. So this is how you can contact us. So here is my email ID. 
so so you, if you got any doubts or anything you can write an email to me with all the details and mobile number and you can put it to this particular mail address i'm ready to help you on this apart from that if you want to talk to me only on courses you can have this numbers and this numbers you can call us if it's busy you can whatsapp us we are ready to respond to you people and apart from that so my office located in chennai india okay you can come to come down to my office you want to meet me at this particular timing i'll be available and here's my insta account if you want to contact me via my insta account this is my photograph and this is my like account number account details click this follow button provide all the details and mobile number i'm ready to contact you people okay so if you want to know like what i should learn in dotnet sir in the case just go to this link kashianford.com slash i'll put this link in the description the first comment scroll down scroll down you are able to these are the topics you must learn to become an expert okay let's move on move back, move back to our technology as i told you the asp with the dotnet framework it becomes an active surface dotnet framework which comes in 2002 that's really awesome and here's the simple piece of code i want to show you how the dotnet works and i've written a code like i've done a great video on asp.net in my channel in english you can just go and check it out and if you need any doubts you can contact us anytime okay now the technology is awesome man i got the front end technology i got the back end technology and the database now the database i want much more better database say a multi-dimensional i can store any kind of data i can store retrieve any kind of data yeah multi-dimensional database storage we want that's where your dotnet framework is really compatible with the great technology that is called as the great technology that is sql server so here is the one sql server so in 2000 it came the technology called sql server so in sql server like it came the, the abbreviation is microsoft sql server here is the one so i got the front-end technology i got the back-end server technology i got the database technology so over here i put a great video on sql dbms and rdms just go and check it out if you need any doubts you can contact us anytime now the technology moves on so over here like uh, the technology like it uh, works with the uh, like, next one like uh, the most of the technologies are really awesome now now like the only thing which we it's spending is like uh, we are looking for much more very less coding because uh, like uh, while writing the coding i don't want the entire right i would i don't write the entire piece of code i want to like uh, do some manipulations so like uh, that, that it I, i'm looking for an automated code generation that's where your dot and framework comes with a great framework called mvc model view controller so model view controller in the sense like uh, most of the coding is done by the like a uh, microsoft dot and framework itself i don't write major coding just yes, changing a little bit you are able to do a great project within fraction of seconds within one day you can finish the project that's where your mvc framework comes over here you are able to see that, like i've given a great video on mvc in english just go and check it out you'll get an idea now i got the front-end technology with the dot and technology and your framework here and your database here so like a, a full stack dot developer must be well versed in html css javascript PHP, MySQL, SQL Server, ASP. We don't want ASP .NET and MVC .NET is more than enough. Now, like the technology is oh man, no. But there is something which I'm missing. That is across device compatibility. So my program, my project will work in any kind of platform. That's why your cross device compatibility works. That's achieved with the great technology in 2010. It's Bootstrap framework. It is a kind of an advanced CSS framework which will have all the designing concepts. Everything is integrated. So these are the technology you must learn to become your full stack dotnet developer hope you enjoy my video like i have written a great tutorials in like wikitiki.com these are my tutorials practically i've done implemented each and everything i'll put this link in the description the first comment just scroll down you are able to see lots lots of articles here so i've done it practically people just try to utilize it and if you got any doubts you can contact me at any time okay yes like i can show you another video you will enjoy this one you can see it here so i've done some implementation part also you can see the implementation part here so everything we have done so just check it out check this video and you can enjoy it so before finishing my video i want to tell you like there are some unsafe courses you must or you should not take it up because the one is like a dev ops so DevOps, like a, most of the people, non-IT people, if you want to enter this IT industry, do not prefer this DevOps because it's kind of a, like a fake experience based courses. Only if you put fake experience, you will go for job. So 99% of the market is spoiled with this Java cell name and DevOps candidates are fake candidates. So please do not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, please do not go with this DevOps and Java cell name and software testing also. <laughs> sorry in india almost 98 percent 98 percent of the people with the java devops java cell name and software testing are fake candidates they are spending five to six lakhs 
to get the fake experience setter and via back door they entering into the IT industry. Please avoid these kind of courses. And studying only SQL is not an advisable mode to enter the IT industry. And studying only Python is not enough. Python, many people have studied. The competition is really huge. If you want to learn or if you want to become a specialist, I want to enter the IT industry. What could be the guidance, sir? Here are the people I can show you an example. Vigneshwaran. Six year gap mechanical engineer became a software engineer. Ajit, four year civil engineer became a software engineer. So, Alex, eight year experience, he became a software engineer. Okay, eight year gap. <laughs> BSC Max, <clears throat> two year triple E, uh, Vijit, he got like a place as a network engineer. Sir, if you want to learn technology, these are the courses you can prefer. Go with the full stack web design.net. That's really awesome. The second one is Java with a React. Or Python programming, or else you can go with cyber security, networking, Linux admin, and cloud computing. And mobile app development is awesome. This is a rank five I'm giving to you. And these are the courses you like. I'll put it in YouTube itself. Please do not study anywhere and don't waste your money. AWS and DevOps or software testing, automation testing, data analyst. Do not prefer these things. And you can go with the SQL developer, but this is not, not the safest course because only a SQL developer won't get job. And you can go with Python machine learning and data science. These are the ranks I'm providing to you people. Hope you enjoy my video like it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Thank you.